an emotional game is what the home manager is expecting and his side shows just one change from last week the return after suspension of Dennis Wise at number 11. 12 months on from their sixth round defeat by Spurs they're offered a second chance of creating club history. For Watford's Mark Morris and Glyn Hodges the emotions are likely to be a little mixed. A year ago they were a part of the Wimbledon story. Now they're key members of a Watford team taking a break from their battle to retain their first division status. The only selection doubts concerned who played up front and in the end Allen and Blissett are given the nod. The smiling Neil Mitchley of Bolton is our referee. And away we go on the quarter-final of London Suburbia, which is likely to prove quite a battle. Watford playing up the slope in the first half. Won both the league matches against Wimbledon. It's Blissett early on, and then from a tight angle gets the corner. It's a curious fact that the two matches played between these two sides were on the opening day of the season at Vicarage Road. That was Dave Bassett's first match in charge of Watford and Bobby Gould's first in charge of Wimbledon. And then when they met again, Steve Harrison was making his debut as the Watford manager. Out by Cork. Kenny Jackett. Allen just couldn't get back far enough. Decided to go for the volley rather than the header. Too long from Hodges. Besant, the Wimbledon goalkeeper, the only goalkeeper captain in the quarter-final round. Two against two. And Fashionu is covered by Rostrum and covered well. Jacket. The cork, the fashion new. Shot was from Wise. As usual, a mass of players on the halfway line. didn't uh, judge its height particularly well. Phelan. And Will Besant dribble it out of the area. Quite often does, but not on this occasion, predictably. Morris. That's it. But uh, the linesman says it was out, which I have to say surprises me. That's new. Gale. This goes to prove that not every forward ball from Wimbledon is uh, in the air. Balls for 21-year-old Andy Thorne players being watched at uh, under-21 level. Gale got up but completely missed it. Good job Besson didn't. Gibson. Good cover by Gibbs. Chase for Blissett. Gale having a bit of trouble, was there an elbow? Not according to the referee, they've got a man over if they find the right one. And it was set up for Allen to score after Thorne could only just stop the ball coming across. Delight for Watford, 
but a total mess for Wimbledon. Gale not winning the ball when he should have. He obviously felt that he was elbowed. No whistle came, no linesman's flag. Play continued, and Allen was helped to the finish by Thorne. Watford in the lead, 19 minutes gone. Goal has certainly woken up the crowd. That was up to that point being played in a pretty quiet atmosphere. Fashion it. Trying to run McLellan. Gibbs coming in from the other side. Three up to help. Away by Morris for the throw. Jones to take it. Gale forward again. Looking for Fashion though. Finds McLellan. Second header from Porter was important. Now Allen. He's got to go on his own. Good tackle. Ah, and he gives it back to him. This is Blissett. Support arriving on the far side and the near side through Hodges, whose first touch was not what was required. McLellan. It's too far back, really. Flag was up for offside. Wasn't a good cross by the Watford captain. And there's Mr. Glum. Sanchez. Phelan moves in. Not much on for Sanchez. He's got to cross it on his own. Fashionu! Oh, the cross beat the defence. But the header. There's no test for the goalkeeper. Gale. It seemed a little unnecessary from Gale. And the referee is calling Gale to him. For some reason, Gale decided that he would hit Malcolm Allen in the throat. Mr. Mitchley saw it and quite rightly books it. I wonder what on earth the conversation can be about. And it's a red, it's a red card. Sent off for hitting an opponent. That he did, and Neil Mitchley totally within his rights. He was at fault on the goal, really did anything that inspired any confidence, and now he's been sent off. Wimbledon have had such a disastrous 45 minutes. They haven't played well, they've got a goal down, scored by Malcolm Allen for Watford, and Wimbledon have to play the second half with 10 men.